Sometimes we find ourselves tangled up in a mix of emotions like love, care, and sadly, dislike. It's like a complicated dance of feelings that can make us wonder why some people don't seem to like us. To figure out this puzzle, we turn to the teachings of Buddhism, a spiritual tradition that helps us understand our feelings, emotions, and relationships. In this journey, we'll explore the three main reasons people may not like us, according to Buddhist teachings. Buddhism is like a wise guide that can help us uncover the reasons behind the negativity that sometimes clouds our connections with others. We want to not only explain why some people may not like us, but also give you the tools to create a more peaceful and caring life. This journey is going to be eye-opening and could change your life as we dive into the core ideas of Buddhism and how they can help us understand why people might not like us. Ignorance, the darkness within. One of the first reasons people may not like us, according to Buddhism, is ignorance. Now, ignorance doesn't mean you're not educated. It's more about not understanding the true nature of reality, the self, and how we're all connected. In Buddhism, ignorance is like the main source of suffering, and it can mess up our relationships. In Buddhism, they take a close look at the idea of the self. They teach us that thinking of ourselves as separate, unchanging beings is just an illusion. This illusion can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and even hatred. When we act as if we're the center of the universe, prioritizing our own desires, opinions, and needs over those of others, we create a divide. This self-centered behavior can make people not like us. People naturally drift away from those who are all about themselves. So how do we fix this? According to Buddhism, we need to realize that everything is connected. The self isn't this unchanging thing, but a constantly changing process, and we're all linked together. Understanding this can help break down the barriers that separate us from others. Empathy, understanding and sharing. Feelings. Empathy is all about understanding and sharing the feelings of others. It's super important for having good relationships. But ignorance can get in the way of empathy. When we're all caught up in our own world, it's hard to see things from someone else's point of view. In Buddhism, they teach us to be mindful, which means being aware of our own thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness helps us understand our own feelings, and that's the first step to understanding others. Alongside mindfulness, there's this practice called loving-kindness. It encourages us to have compassion for all beings, no matter how different they are from us. By getting rid of ignorance and developing empathy, we become better at connecting with others. This makes it less likely that people will dislike us because they can see that we care about their feelings. Conflict. The result of ignorance. Ignorance is like the breeding ground for conflict. When we don't understand the consequences of our actions or the fact that we're all connected, we can do things that hurt others. Buddhism talks a lot about karma, which is basically how our actions have consequences. Ignorance can lead to actions that cause suffering for us and the people around us. But don't worry. We can fix this by becoming more aware and wise. When we stop acting out of ignorance, we're on the path to more peaceful and loving relationships. Attachment, the chains of desire. The second reason people might not like us, according to Buddhism, is attachment. Attachment is like really wanting things or outcomes. It's often driven by our desires and cravings. When we're super attached to stuff, we mainly care about our own happiness, and this can lead to problems in our relationships. Buddhism teaches that attachment is a source of suffering because it ties us to things that are always changing. Our attachment to people or things can lead to disappointment and frustration when those things change or go away. People might not like us if they see us being really attached because it can make us seem selfish. So, how do we deal with this? Buddhism suggests we should learn to be content and let go of our desires. By doing this, we're not relying on external things to make us happy, and we can think more about other people's well-being, expectations, setting ourselves up for disappointment sometimes. Attachment leads to us having unrealistic expectations, 
We want things to happen a certain way, and when they don't, we get upset. These unmet expectations can strain our relationships and make people not like us. Buddhism teaches us to let go of these expectations and accept things as they are. By doing this, we can have a more peaceful and harmonious way of dealing with others. Interdependence. We're all in this together. Attachment often makes us think that other people exist just for our benefit or pleasure. We see them as separate from us, and we use them to satisfy our own desires. This can make them feel used, and that's not a good way to build relationships. But in Buddhism, they want us to realize that we're all connected. When we see how our well-being is linked with the well-being of others, we're less likely to use them for our own gain. Instead, we treat others with kindness, respect, and compassion. Aversion, the seed of hostility. The third reason people may not like us, according to Buddhism, is aversion. Aversion is a strong feeling of disliking or even hating something or someone. This emotion can come from fear, anger, or just not liking something. Aversion can make us judge and criticize others, and when we do that, people don't feel appreciated or liked. In Buddhism, they teach us not to judge and criticize. By being more accepting and less judgmental, we can build better relationships. Fear. The root of aversion. Aversion often comes from fear. We might be afraid of something or someone, and that fear can turn into hatred or hostility. Buddhism encourages us to confront our fears and aversions, acknowledge them, and not let them control our actions. By being mindful and brave, we can overcome these negative emotions and become more open and compassionate toward others. Compassion, the antidote to aversion. Compassion is like the cure for aversion. It's all about showing love and understanding to all beings, even those we might not like. When we approach others with genuine compassion, we let them know that we care and want to understand them. This can break down the walls of hatred and create a sense of reconciliation and forgiveness. Self-compassion. Being kind to ourselves. Before we can be compassionate to others, we need to be kind to ourselves. We're often our harshest critics, and that self-criticism can affect how we treat others. Buddhism teaches us to forgive ourselves for our mistakes and imperfections. When we're kind to ourselves, it becomes easier to be forgiving, patient, and loving in our relationships with others. Acts of kindness, spreading goodness. Compassion is not just a feeling. It's also about taking action. Small acts of kindness, like listening to someone, offering a helping hand, or giving a word of encouragement, can make a big difference in our relationships. When we do these acts without expecting anything in return, we create a chain of positivity that can change how people see us and respond to us. Understanding. The key to better relationships. To deal with ignorance, attachment, and aversion, we need to start with understanding. This understanding goes beyond just knowing what's causing conflict. It's about digging deep into our own minds and hearts. When we understand ourselves better, we can also understand others better. This understanding can lead to more harmonious interactions. Empathy. Feeling what others feel. Empathy naturally comes when we truly understand others. When we understand that we're all connected and that everyone's actions are shaped by their own experiences, we become more empathetic. This means we can relate to the feelings and experiences of others, and that can make us more trustworthy and connected. Conflict Resolution Finding Solutions Understanding is the key to solving conflicts. When we understand why a conflict started, we can deal with it in a better way. Instead of getting defensive or angry, we can respond with patience and a genuine desire to fix the problem. This kind of understanding helps us communicate, compromise, and reconcile with others. By being understanding, we open up space for growth and healing in our relationships. 
This journey through the wisdom of Buddhism shows us that we can transform our relationships by understanding and addressing ignorance, attachment, and aversion. By using the tools of mindfulness, compassion, and understanding, we can create connections filled with love, understanding, and growth. Ultimately, it's not just about understanding why people might not like us. It's about making a profound change within ourselves. By becoming beacons of love and wisdom, we have the power to inspire positive change in the hearts of others. This leads to a more harmonious and interconnected world for everyone. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it inspiring and informative. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you won't miss our next video. Also, don't forget to check out Daily Motivation, presented by Ryan. To kickstart your day with positivity and increase your chances of success, head over to the playlists in our Wisdom in Real Life channel, where you'll discover our Daily Motivational Program Series. We're here to help you have a successful day. Namo Buddhaya!